Greetings and welcome to the fifth review in our mid-2019 video review series. Another small cigar, the uh, H. Upman Half Corona. Uh, only released uh, a short time ago, uh, only, I think only a few years ago. Um, but boy are they popular uh, for the size that it is. Mm, and ideally... Uh, it's a cigar that you want when you want uh, to smoke them within a 30 to 35 minute time frame. I try to get it around 35 minutes out of them. You can go a bit longer. I've gone a bit longer uh, to about 40, 45 minutes. But uh, again, it's uh, it's uh, one of those cigars that benefits from uh, uh, smoking uh, a little bit slower. Um, the dimensions on it are a 44 ring gauge by... 90 millimeters in length, uh, which is uh, a, a bit over three and a half inches uh, in the uh, imperial uh, measurement. Um, uh, a similar um, uh, size uh, cigar that came out in 2015 was a Monte Cristo Media Corona. Uh, I don't think uh, at the time that that's been released, it's been as popular as H. Upman Half Corona. And I think mainly the reason for that is because uh, H. Upman Half Corona hit the ground running. It was the first one of its release uh, over the last uh, you know, five to ten years. Um, and that's why I think it's the most popular in that uh, this sort of, uh, I guess, um, smaller size, um, this, this Half Corona type size. Uh, another recent release uh, that is around these dimensions uh, is the uh, Romeo and Julieta, uh, I think uh, the Petite Royale, Royales, I think it's called. Um, I'll have to double check on that. Um, that is, uh, I think I'm saying it right, a Casichos. It's because it's slightly bigger and longer. It's 47 ring gauge by 95 millimeters in length which is uh, around the uh, three and three quarter inch mark. Uh, and um, a cigar that's the same length, but slightly bigger that came out in 2014, the Partigas Serie D number six, uh, it's 90 millimeters in length, but it's uh, 50 ring gauge. So uh, those four cigars I consider in a similar, similar class in terms of its uh, uh, length and um, ring gauge. But definitely out of all those, I think the H. Upman Half Corona would be the most popular. I've got a really, really nice draw on this today. I'm just um, sipping a little bit out of that and getting plenty of smoke. Really, really, really nice. Uh, one thing I wanted to, uh, uh, that's come to my mind um, that I wanted to just tell you is uh, the, the Class of cigars that are a bit above this um, uh, are categorised differently from uh, the length size, and that is um, the Petit Robustos, uh, which, uh, if memory serves me correctly, the first one would have been the Hoya de Monterey. I think uh, Petit Robusto would have been come out in 2004, and uh, not too much longer after that, the Monte Cristo Petit Mundo in 2006. Since then, there's been a lot more particular Robusto releases, and they tend to be around 50 ring gauge to uh, 4 inches, 102 millimetres, you know, 110 millimetres, 115 millimetres, so 4 to 4.5 inches longer belong to the particular Robusto size, and um, they're the type of cigars you want if you want to smoke them in 45 minutes to 50, 55 minutes up to an hour. But when you want something that's a bit shorter time frame, again, 30, 35 minutes, I tend to go for this. Now, a couple of things about H. Upman. Uh, and I've mentioned in uh, our, our previous video review series, H. Upman uh, tends to always come out on top in polls uh, in terms of what's the most uh, market that's the most prevalent uh, in your humidor. Uh, it tends to always come out number one um, amongst uh, cigar enthusiasts. Um, I don't think H. Upman would be the uh, strongest, uh, well, the highest selling marker 
in the world uh, in the Banos uh, uh, catalog. Uh, I think, uh, my opinion, that would uh, uh, that would belong to uh, uh, the Monte Cristo or the Partagas, one of those. Uh, Cohiba would be not far behind. But um, uh, for us enthusiasts, uh, it tends to be H. Upman. And I find um, uh, I'm, I'm in agreement with uh, one other prominent member on our forum, NSX Cigar. Total agreement uh, in regards to what I find in H. Upman. And I tend to find two distinctions uh, in the flavours. And that is, um, on one side, I tend to find a shortbread, light espresso, uh, slight nut uh, uh, distinction. Um, uh, say, think H. Upman Connoisseur A or Connoisseur Number One. Or the Magna 46, where they're a lot more intense in flavour. The espresso coffee is much more stronger in them. Um, you might get like a stronger leather flavours. Um, and uh, so the Magna 46, the Raw Robusto. And I think these H. Upman Half Coronas would be more intense in flavours. They would be more comparable to, say, the the stronger uh, espresso flavors, uh, coffee flavors. However, having said that, uh, this cigar is three months short of three years old, and the difference I find in this cigar in comparison to uh, H. Upman Half Coronas that I've had where it's been more around the 12 months to 18 months is that it's got slightly more shortbread to it and the espresso coffee is uh, diminished um, and uh, I really enjoy them more like this. Uh, I'm the type of smoker and I need to tell you uh, uh, when it comes to H. Hartman, uh, give me the connoisseur of a type flavour, that, that quality shortbread and cream, slight espresso uh, coffee to, uh, to it, that's what I go for. And in fact, uh, I had a look the other day. Uh, uh, at my humidor, and uh, I have very few H. Upman uh, in my humidor at the moment. I've gone through a number in the past, um, I guess, year, two, three years. And um, one thing that's uh, common amongst uh, the, uh, I've only got about six sticks, maybe 1%, less than 1%, but uh, one thing that's common with all of them is they're all three years or over, um, every single one of them. And I think for H. Upman, I do prefer them about three, five years, ten years. I prefer them older because I do like them more cream. That is smoking wonderfully. Uh, I'm going to leave that for now and I'm going to go, um, come back into the second half and uh, see how it, uh, it's progressing. Just gone past the halfway point and the cigar's been wonderfully consistent in terms of construction. Uh, the rings on it has been very consistent. The ash length, um, I can't fault the cigar in terms of construction or in, fla in flavour. Um, I've had some beautiful shortbread and uh, espresso coffee. Uh, towards um, this now, this second half, s some hints of uh, licorice um, I've been able to detect. So slight sweeter flavours. Um, the one difference uh, in comparison to um, uh, what these are like when they're, say, in the 12 month when they're new, um, I've had quite a few examples where of the H. Upman half corona where they're being more stronger in toasted tobacco. Um, uh, this doesn't have that at all, really. Um, uh, the flavours uh, are much more refined. And that's because it's close to three years. So. I guess it's a tip if you uh, if you haven't been um, um, if you haven't been inclined to uh, age these uh, or rest these a bit, do yourself a favour and, and give it a go. Um, I know I mentioned the uh, other uh, cigars in this size, um, uh, the Monte Cristo Media Corona and the uh, Roman, Romeo Julieta Petit Royales, Royales, and that's that is the name of it. I checked it. Um, in the time that uh, I've come back to uh, this review. Um, I've um, basically um, uh, 
noted that um, those cigars uh, tend to be smoked by our members uh, at a much younger age, and they're way more intense in flavours, um, uh, much as the H.R. and Huff Corona is when it's younger. Um, and they're good. They're good like that. It's not a problem. Well, in relation to the Petit Royales, it's, Royales, it's only a new release, so um, you only, if you're smoking them now, you're only going to have a new. But um, uh, yeah. in regards to this Half Corona, do yourself a favour, like I said. Um, give it, a, give it, a, give it a, a few years and, and see how you go, mate. See how you enjoy it. If you enjoy older cigars, if you enjoy more, if you enjoy H. Chapman more older, you, this won't let you down. It's kind of ash though. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to take one more puff of that. The other thing to uh, to tell you uh, before we finish off the review is um, when you get this far down into the cigar, it can get uh, quite strong, quite uh, can get hot or bitter. But none of that here. Take another puff. Smoking every bit as good as uh, the middle of the first half. Just wondrous. I'm so happy to have smoked this today. So, again, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this review. Until next time, uh, happy smoking.